Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. And I haven't done one of these in a long time. And this will serve kind of as like an intro to my diet, the things that I eat so that I make sure that I eat enough and I'm eating healthy. I'm also gonna be drinking my water. This is water that's infused with pineapple and mint. I can make this myself, but I chose not to. I just bought it at the store because it looked good. And it's good. So let's get started because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys, okay? First, let's just start off with the box unboxing. So this is a subscription service um, that you can use to, to get snacks, basically. And this is called Graze. Okay, so I've tried a subscription service before, right? That sends you healthy organic snacks once a month. Now, I did like that subscription service. However, I found that getting it once a month was not enough. Even with the deluxe box that I had, it wasn't like, it wasn't enough to sustain me for a whole month. I eat three full meals a day, but then in between those meals, I try to eat like snacks and smaller meals. So it requires me to constantly eat a lot. Having that other subscription service once a month, it didn't last long enough for me to do that every single day, you know what I mean? This is the box that it comes in, and that's what it looks like. Um, this is Snickerdoodle Dip with cinnamon pretzel sticks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tastes just like I imagined it. And I love having snacks on hand like this, like, um, in little compartments, you know, that you can put these in your purse and stuff because I do a lot of traveling. So to have these on the plane with me or in the car, on the go, it really helps to um, just have these on deck, okay? Because I can throw my purse and go. On the website, you can choose which snacks you like the best. So they'll send you snacks that you like instead of it just being like, anything goes you know what i mean so you don't have to like worry about not eating certain things because everything you get in the box will be basically what you like already um and i'm not gonna try all these because there's a lot of stuff in here this is strawberry chocolate cheesecake um we've got a herb bread basket summer berry flapjack which looks like a gordon it looks like a rice crispy treat but it's like granola i think triple berry smoothie um, it's got strawberries, blueberries, cranberries, banana slices in it. We got white chocolate, wild blueberry toast. And it comes with, oh, it comes with white chocolate. Oh! We got spicy sriracha crunch. So it's like popcorn and sriracha. Yeah. But I think this is a really cool idea. It's only $11.99. You can get it weekly or bi-weekly. So you don't have to get it every week. It's just a great way to get snacks into your house or your dorm room or your office, wherever you are. And you don't have to worry about going out and buying a whole bunch of snacks all the time. It just sends stuff to you and you can eat it. I will have a link in the description box to where you guys can check it out. Also, I have a coupon code for you to try a box for free. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that, right? I actually spent a whole bunch of money on Trader Joe's today. This is pepperoni bambino pizza. I used to get the little pizzas, like they were like wrapped up in like, um, you know, plastic wrap or whatever, but they have these in boxes now. It just kind of makes me mad because there's only four pizzas in here. What am I gonna do with four pizzas? This only lasts me a week. I really like these because they're small individual and if I just feel like eating a pizza that day, I can portion myself because dairy products, too much dairy makes me break out. And anytime I eat pizza, I break out. So I try to limit myself to small portions of pizza if I'm gonna eat it. That way I'm not like totally killing myself. I got some butter lettuce and radicchio. But somebody told me that let butter lettuce is really good because it has good flavor, so I'm gonna try this. Usually I get kale, the 50-50 romaine and like spinach or whatever. I usually meal prep. You meal prep your salads so that you have a salad every single day. Instead of me going to Wendy's every single day and getting a salad for $7, ain't nobody got time for that. I got these grapes and oh my God, I've been searching for cotton candy grapes, but I can't find them anywhere. So I got these sweet celebration grapes and I heard that they're really good. Um, and they were pretty cheap for a bag of for two pound bag of grapes. Also in here, we've got some cilantro 
for Taco Tuesday because it is Taco Tuesday. Boneless, skinless, chicken breasts. I always get these because they're easy to cut up. Throw that in a salad or make chicken something. Um, and I got my Chunky Spicy, of course, because Chunky Spicy is the bomb. I also like to snack on this because avocado is really good for you. Avocado is a great protein. And then apple slices. I use these apple slices for everything. I use them for um, if I'm gonna be making like French toast and I wanna put some apples on it, or if I um, make my salads, I like to put apples in my salads. I also use apples as a snack because I like my peanut butter and my apples. You guys know I'm obsessed with my home plate peanut butter. You already know I'm obsessed with it. I talked about it in my favorites video before. So you guys know the fall season is coming up. So guess what that means? All pumpkin everything. So we've got first, we've got, we've got, we've got pumpkin toaster pastries, which are basically pop tarts without all of the extra like sugar and nasty stuff. So excited to try these and I don't want to eat one yet because there's only six in here. Got the strawberry pop tarts. But I did eat one of these already. And this is the pumpkin, um, this pumpkin walks into a bar. I love the walks into a bar bars because I can put these in my purse. Try to eat stuff with a lot of fiber in it. So that's why I eat a lot of granola and like granola bars and things like that because there's good fiber in it and it helps you poop. I got two of these because I already knew. Got the strawberry ones because, I mean, you can never have enough. I also have these almonds. And I really like the almonds from, there's a store that I go to called Mariano's and like they have these glazed almonds and they're basically just almonds that are glazed with um, maple syrup. But I got these and these are cinnamon roasted. They say that a handful of almonds has like the same amount of protein as like a six ounce steak or something like that because I don't digest beef very well. It's not good for my system because it literally just sits in there. So I try to eat a lot of protein um, since I'm not really a heavy, heavy, heavy meat eater. Okay, I can never find my freaking scissors. I have to use shears. Cameron! Hmm dry mm. eating nuts and stuff like that it just makes me feel like a squirrel I also got some cane sugar and if I'm gonna put sugar in something I'm gonna use cane sugar apple cinnamon oatmeal but I have to buy two of them because I don't know who decided that one packet of oatmeal was a serving size. It's like this much oatmeal. What am I gonna do with that? So I get two of these and I do two packets of oatmeal a day. Oatmeal has a lot of fiber, so you know, make sure that I'm having regular bowel movements. So I got these South African seasoning potato chips because one, the bag is like pretty, it looks cool. Potato chips with an exotic flavor, it just sounds good. So let's try it. Oh, hey, those are bomb. Mm-hmm. Yep, I love for those. Doritos, Lay's, um, Cheetos, all that stuff is terrible for you because it has MSG and the seasoning is basically just salt. Like it's not even real salt. It's like shredded plastic. Um, I try to eat stuff with real seasoning on it. So that, my friends, is good. So I've got some peach salsa because this is my favorite salsa for Taco Tuesday. And I have my masala simmer sauce. This is going to be for my chicken tikka masala that I'm gonna make. So I hope this is good. I've never really tried the actual sauce before. I've tried the um, freezer versions of chicken tikka masala like I've talked about in my previous video, which is my favorites video. But I decided instead of buying the frozen versions, I'm gonna just start making it myself and see how that goes. And if not, I'm going back to the frozen versions because I'm lazy. Yeah, so I have my chicken to go with that and then I have some basmati rice. I don't know, it tastes a little bit different than jasmine rice. I really love jasmine rice, but I wanted to do basmati with the chicken tikka. Thai curry. This is the best, best curry sauce ever. Like, it's so easy to make because you just pour this over some chicken, put it over some rice, boom, easy dinner. And it's like so good. There we go. Chicken dinner. All right, some more pumpkin stuff. I'm sorry guys, I had to do it. I had to go back and get my pumpkin butter because it was bomb last year. I ate it on all my waffles and pancakes. I also got this new one, which is pumpkin pie spice cookie butter. And 
You guys know I have to test it out. I gotta try it. I love peanut butter, I love cookie butter, so why not add to the family? Oh, yes. Girl, mm-hmm. <laughs> Disrespectful. Pumpkin rolls, because I had these last year as well and they were really, really good. I definitely wanted to get these again. You guys know how much I love ginger brew. I buy like so many of these. I don't do soda. I do not like like Sprite and Coke and Dr. Pepper, all that. Ginger brew is all natural, so it's better for me. Um, and ginger is really good because it helps settle um, unhappy stomachs. I also got some orange juice because you always need vitamin C. I got some apple cranberry juice because Cameron loves apple cranberry juice. Shout out to you, boo. And I also got him some mango lemonade because he loves mango. Um, oh, this is grown people stuff. And then from the regular grocery store, I like to get my produce, my fresh produce. Just because Trader Joe's produce is not the best to me, it's not the best quality. So I try to get my bananas from there. I also have some watermelon right here. I try to eat a lot of um, water heavy fruit because a lot of fruits have a lot of sugar. And if you're eating a lot of sugar, whether it be natural sugar or um, processed sugar, it's still sugar. Sugar just breaks me out. Like anything bad for you that would normally make other people gain weight, it just goes straight to my face. Like it makes my face break out and it makes me sluggish and irritable and I just have to make sure that I'm eating the right food. So I try not to eat too much sugar. So that's why I don't get a lot of um, fruit, like a lot, a lot of fruit. I eat fruit, but I try not to eat it all the time because I could be taking in too much sugar. So limes for water and I'll put limes, fresh limes and mint leaves in my water and it makes my water taste like a mojito, minus the alcohol. And I also use my limes for Taco Tuesday. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. All the information you need will be in the description box. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Today, he's styling. <laughs> yes, right in the sun, y'all. About to burn all the way up. Beautiful, beautiful. She's famous. She's up. People, people love her. Nobody want to say nothing to me.